calculating numbers of particles. To do this, we need to use the Avogadro constant. If you type that number into your calculator, it may appear like this. To work out the number of particles, we can use this equation. The number of particles is equal to the number of moles multiplied by Avogadro's number. So let's look at some examples. If you wanted to work out the number of particles then of one mole of carbon, you would do one mole multiplied by Avogadro's number. And that will give me the answer. Why don't you pause the video and have a look at these using the equation. Here are the answers. No, it doesn't really matter what we are working out the number of particles of, be it carbon, water, ethane, or methane. All we're doing is using the Avogadro constant. We can rearrange this equation to work out the number of moles that we have. So if we know the number of particles or atoms or molecules, then we can divide that by Avogadro's constant to give us the moles. So pause the video, try and work out how many numbers of moles we have for these. And there are the answers. Now let's look at some questions involving ions. So how many sodium ions are in one mole of sodium chloride? Well, sodium chloride is an ionic compound and it's made out of two types of iron. Sodium ion and the chloride ion. So if we start off with one mole of sodium chloride, each sodium chloride will split up into two ions. So we will make one mole of sodium ions. Remember that one mole is equal to this number of particles. So that's your answer. Now let's change this question now to so how many ions are in one mole of sodium chloride. So if we start off with one mole of sodium chloride, that contains one mole of sodium ions and also one mole of chloride ions. So the total number of ions in sodium chloride is equal to one mole multiplied by two. Which is equal to 1.2 times 20, 10 to the 24 ions. The reason why it's multiplied by 2 is because each sodium chloride is split up into two ions. Here's another question. How many moles of potassium ions and bromide ions? Are there in 0.25 moles of potassium bromide? Well, potassium bromide is made out of potassium ions and bromide ions. So if we have 0.25 moles of potassium ions, each one of those is made out of 0.25 moles potassium and 0.25 moles of bromide. All together then, we have 0.5 moles of ions. 
Here's another question. How many moles of calcium ions are there in 2.5 moles of calcium chloride? Calcium chloride is made out of calcium ion and two chloride ions. So if we start off with 2.5 moles of calcium chloride, you will end up with 2.5 moles of calcium, 2.5 moles for each chloride. That's a total of 5 moles of chloride ions and 2.5 moles of calcium ions. So just remember that this compound is made out of three ions altogether. So if we start off with 2.5 moles of calcium chloride, it's actually made out of a lot more moles of the individual ions. Here's another question. How many moles of aluminium ions and sulfate ions are in two moles of aluminium sulfate? This is a formula for aluminium sulfate. Now, if we have one mole of aluminium sulfate, that is made out of two aluminium ions. It's made out of three sulfate ions. So one mole of aluminium sulfate produces two moles of aluminium and three moles of sulfate. But the question actually says how many ions of each type are in two moles of aluminium sulfate. So if we have two moles of aluminium sulfate we'll actually have four moles of aluminium ions we will have three moles of sulfate ions, we'll actually have six moles of sulfate ions. Here's 